What is Influenza? The flu, or influenza, is an infectious respiratory infection caused by influenza viruses. Unlike a cold, influenza, flu, can cause significant health problems such as pneumonia, otitis media, and even death. Although influenza can affect people of any age at any time of year, it is more prevalent in the northern hemisphere during the winter and can create epidemics. Young children, the elderly, and people with pre-existing medical conditions are the most prone to flu complications. Each flu season, influenza viruses undergo minor changes known as, mild, anagenic drift, which can result in epidemics. When a new subtype of influenza virus, type A, emerges following a significant antigenic shift in the virus antigens, known as antigenic shift, pandemics, global epidemics, might occur. Global pandemics occur with significant alterations to each viral subtype, in contrast to annual local epidemics, which are less severe and have a better prognosis due to fewer mutations. Because their immune systems do not recognize it, those who have never been exposed to it are susceptible to infection. Global influenza pandemics include the 1918 pandemic, H1N1 virus, the 1957-1958 pandemic, H2N2 virus, the 1968 pandemic, H3N2 virus, and the 2009 H1N1 pandemic, H1N1 PDM09 virus. Chills and aches are the most typical symptoms of influenza, but unlike a common cold, which develops over time, influenza can present quickly one to three days after infection. Influenza symptoms are comparable to those of a common cold, but more severe, as well as pneumonia, tiredness, and muscle aches and pains. Coughing and fever are usually signs of influenza. It's estimated that 30 to 50 percent of influenza infections are asymptomatic. Influenza is caused by the influenza virus, of which three types affect humans. Influenza AC. Because these viruses are airborne, they can spread through coughing or sneezing, ejecting roughly half a million virus particles, and coming into contact with contaminated surfaces. Influenza A and B produce seasonal influenza, but influenza C only causes minimal symptoms. Influenza A has been related to more dangerous pandemics around the world. Wild aquatic birds carry influenza A, which causes bird flu in both wild and domestic bird populations, as well as the occasional human influenza pandemic. Hemagglutinin, H, and neuraminidase, two surface proteins, are used to classify influenza A viruses into subtypes, N. Because influenza A has a high mutation rate and is genetically diverse, humans have low immunity throughout their lives. It only has one subtype, and because antigenic drift generates different strains of influenza B, there is no antigenic shift, people are protected against it from birth. Influenza C, a single species virus, can infect humans, dogs, and pigs. In children, influenza C typically produces minor sickness. Although influenza virus D, a fourth group, was discovered in 2011, it appears to be limited to cattle and pigs, though there is concern that it may infect cattle workers in the future. Humans normally only contain enzymes that allow influenza viruses to infiltrate cells in the throat and lungs, hemagglutin and cleavage, preventing infection of other tissues or organs. Extremely virulent strains, such as H5N1, can link to receptors much deeper within the lungs, causing more serious symptoms like pneumonia, but they're harder to cough out than those that bind to the upper receptor. To prevent the virus from spreading, those who have been diagnosed with influenza should isolate themselves and avoid close contact with others. Rest, sleep, remain warm, drink plenty of fluids, and use OTC, over-the-counter, medications like paracetamol or ibuprofen to relieve pains, aches, and fever symptoms. Antivirals are the sole effective treatment for influenza particularly in the first 48 hours following infection, however many virus strains are resistant. Antivirals can also be used as chemoprophylaxis to help people who have already contracted influenza avoid or lessen the severity of their symptoms, in high-risk groups. Antivirals may be administered to high-risk groups like as children, pregnant women, and the elderly to help them fight the virus naturally within a few weeks. It's crucial to stress that the flu jab does not guarantee protection from seasonal flu. Because viruses have such high mutation rates, each influenza season necessitates the creation of a new influenza vaccine based on the most common variants from the previous year or the year before. 
COVID-19, a novel coronavirus-related illness, and influenza are both infectious respiratory diseases. Despite the similarities in symptoms between COVID-19 and the flu, the two infections are caused by different viruses. COVID-19 is caused by SARS-CoV-2, a single virus, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. Influenza, a seasonal and pandemic illness, a narrative review. Thank you for watching. Hope you will like the video I created for you. Please support me, click on subscribe. Then click on the bell. Please tap the below to view videos of the same series.